Ooh, look at this. The jewelry store. Uh-oh. Did we just get lucky? Uh-oh. There it is. Look at this. Welcome back to Tread Journey with Jeeves, guys. And guess what? We're back home, and we got our first unit since we've been back. Now, this unit doesn't look like much, but let me tell you why we bought it. On Public Storage's website, you can see the old owner's name. We looked this guy up, and he shouldn't have lost his unit. He looked like a biochemist and all this stuff. Very high-level scientist, so we were like, how did you blew the 5 by 5 unit? It was intriguing. When we get here and you see it, it was even more intriguing. We only paid $15 for this little thing. 15 bucks, but I just had to know. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and let's get in there. So this unit looks like trash, right? That's what we thought too, but the guy's name was really unique. So we know it's not somebody with the same name. So I was like, this high level scientist has this kind of junk. It's just, it didn't add up. So I wanted to find out, let's see. We got cardboard and we got more cardboard. Yeah. That's my favorite. But at least it's recyclable and it's free. What do you think? Ooh, what kind of shirt is this? Whatever that is, I don't want it. I do, it looks fancy. It is, where's the tag? What is this, a scarf? That's scarf, not... tablecloth, something. All right, looks like some, I don't, I don't even know what it looks like. It's that. All right, oop, this is ripping. What do we have here? This is more clothes, I think. Feels like clothes, but he has like a, ther is that a jersey? No, it's a thermal hoodie. All right, what's in here? It's New York. Okay, this is really not adding up. This is not the stuff I would expect after I looked this guy up. I was expecting like, you know, vials of like green smoking chemicals and stuff like that, but. <laughs> like cartoon. Yeah, like ball, he's like just a ball with a white hair on both sides, a long white jacket, green chemicals and smoke. A plate? Okay, this is random. You know what else is in here? Huh. Literally like nothing, this. Well, Does it work? No. No. Trash. All right, what up? What up? let's see what this is. Ooh, look at this. What is that? Uh, one shop, it's a jewelry store. Uh-oh. We only paid 15 bucks for this. Did we just get lucky? Like, really lucky? Oh, what is that? That looks fake, doesn't it? It says, cancel. What are you canceling? <laughs> uh, well. I don't think it's real, but we'll look into it later. I'm gonna put that in my pocket though, because that's definitely intriguing. Eh, eh, get, get in my pocket. All right, we got mail. Maybe it's an old book. Look, four-footed folk storybook. What was that bookmark? It looks like. All right. Four-footed folks. Mother Goose. I think it could be like a first edition old book. Could be. Some of those could be worth money. Dawning. Yeah, it's not the best condition. There's one more book in here. Let's see what this is. What's that. It's all drawn in too. But what is that? Westward? What year is it? Is it old? It looks old. The latest date I see on here is uh, 1948. So maybe it's an older book. Hmm. I don't know. One of the things that did intrigue me about this unit is this right here. Giant picture frame. I like art because art sometimes very valuable. They even put it on a towel in there. Oh, look at that. Think it's worth anything? It goes this way, doesn't it? Diego Rivera. Is that 47? You see the year? Uh -oh. What does it say on the back? Anything? Uh oh. Crafted with care, um, custom framing. That's just the tr framing. Oh. Yeah, go right. we're definitely gonna look this up. We're gonna do a recap on the Gino when we get home because there's really not much to go through right now, but art is one of those things. Random thing, like a random frame can bring you millions of dollars, literally, if you're yep. lucky. So, always gotta check. Trash, trash. Let's look at these old books, just trash. Yep, just trash. And what else is over here? More trash. All right, let's get some of the trash out the way. Let's pull out the next box. Ooh. Oh, there, look, there's a hidden box under there. I didn't even Ooh, notice that. I like that. In this one, we have a gross bag. Um, that's, uh, I don't know, some kind of hat. <laughs> some of these things are worth weird money, so you never know. Santa Claus. Is that Santa? Yeah. Looks like Santa. Looks like a hand painted something. Like a home craft thing. I think he's coming to town, guys. It's just all junk. 
doesn't look too intriguing for sure. What is this? Oh, glasses, Pugs glasses. All right. There's a baseball in here. Baseball. An old phone. Looks like just a random baseball, nothing special. And well, the rest of this is junk. No fun there. What do you think's in the secret box? Only one way to find out. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy secret box. All right. Looks like clothes. That's what that's something under it that heavy. Hey, look. Those shoes. Aren't those part of the costume that you may, you know, you might beat me up and my daddy will sue you, but there's a less sensitive version of that. Um, why is this wrapped up? Every book has been wrapped. I don't know. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Hmm. All right. There's got to be something else in here, right? It's all books. Really? That's where all the weight came from. Books. Hey, look. His name and address. So that confirms it was the person we were looking at. This is literally the scientist guy, but why do you have this stuff? Look at that magazine. The what? It's, it's kind of creepy. See that magazine? Ooh. Oh. <laughs> that scared me. Um, well, not seeing too much else in here. This define spirituality. You got five minutes to take your test. I don't want to take a test. Yeah, me either. 1968. Just a history book. Mm -hmm. So, another box with nothing but books. Isn't that kind of weird? Very. More plastic. No fun. Some jeans. Uh, news or magazine. Keep refrigerated. That's kind of not a good sign to see. Well, it's kind of oh. cold here. What is that? I think it's an obvious fake. What is this? Look at this. This is just a weird way of displaying things. It's like it's like a clue scroll. <laughs> Uh, two key changes for rent cap proposal. Okay. Don't ask me, guys. I don't understand what people do. They just do this. They just do them. Macy's. Let's see. Uh oh. There it is. Look at this. We might have some actual jewelry in here, but you know what? I don't want to lose it because we're inside of the storage facility, and we literally have about ten minutes to have everything done and out of here to make it to the next auction. So you know what? We'll save this for the recap. A little smartphone, which will give us all the information we want to know. And, oh look, another phone. Another smartphone, two of them in one box. What is this? More jewelry, isn't it? Yep. Hmm, so I'm gonna put all the jewelry in here for now. I think that's what that is too. I don't know if it's silver or not, but I'm gonna put all the jewelry in that box. Let's see what these are. This is... More artwork, but it has a $3 price tag on it. That's never good. But maybe he got it from someone somewhere. And it's actually worth more than that. Same with this one. This came from a thrift store. Mm -hmm. People have found uh, paintings at thrift stores are worth The best one I've seen was $322,000 or something from a thrift store. So just because it's from a thrift store doesn't mean anything. What else do we got? This, yes, that's always great. This is all you always want to see in a unit, but that goes back to the science thing. Biohazard. Kind of strange. Papers. More art back here. Look at this guy. Hmm. I don't know. That's more like a print, not an art. Not yeah. Art. But this might be a painting. Or that's a print. That's 100% a print. Yeah. Prints are no good. Let's see what's in this. That's a painting. Hmm, the back's all red. You think you hit something in here? Oh, but it does have some information on it, look. Huh. That could be valuable. Art's just one of those things, like we said. This one's worth a dollar, this one's worth a million. Which one do you have? I don't know. Let's see, papers, papers. Let's look at this piece of art, too. This looks like it came from the same place, but looks nice. And 
It's cost. It's got some stuff on the back. Get out. All right, look. So this guy might have been one of the people that go to thrift stores and try to find rare art, and maybe we found his collection of it. That would be nice. That's money right there. What else? Clothes. Clothes. Ooh. <laughs> That's that's not suspicious at all. This is where all his cash is that he uses to buy them. Oh, books. Maybe this one. <sighs> books. Dang, destroyed books too. That was just a little shady there. I thought that was gonna be something. And what else do we got? Oh, my favorite. All your coke cans, because you know if you're gonna pay for a storage unit. Why would you not store your empty cans? I mean, that wouldn't even make sense not to. We got this. What is that? Looks like something medieval, doesn't it? Yeah. View of Toledo. Two dollars at the art place. Hmm. Alright. What is this? Sir, can you explain this to me? I think that might be a vase, actually. Maybe a vase? Maybe. I don't see uh, another piece right here that would be required if it was something else, but that. And last thing in the unit. Can't be good without some vodka. So, let's cross our fingers and hope what we have fits in the car. We gotta make it to the next auction, but when we get home, we'll do a recap and see if we have something worth a million dollars or we got trash. All right guys, let's do a little recap on the storage unit and show you some of the interesting stuff we found out. So there actually is some interesting things about the painting. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's go through some of the stuff we found in here. First, the pennies. We found their four 1921 Wheat bag pennies. I don't know why. They're 41. all 41, sorry. They're <laughs> all 1941 wheat bag pennies. As far as I know, it's the 43, right? Is that the one you need for? 43. That's in copper if you find that it's worth money. Other than that, I think it's just a wheat bag penny. If there's something significant about a 41 wheat bag that I should look for, let me know because for some reason they're all the same year. That is a little odd. Maybe it's his birthday year or something like that. I don't know. That thing is super fake. Yeah, this is says um, Hong Kong. On the inside, I like playing with it because it's like, <laughs> whatever, it keeps pinching me. So I'm just but gonna set that side's fake. Super fake. This now, I don't know if this is real, but look at that. Can you see what that says? I don't know if it's focusing. Probably not. Let me try it like this. Well, if you can't see, it says Gucci on the watch, so I don't know if it's a real Gucci watch. It says Gucci on the top and then Swiss made on the bottom. And then on the back, it says <coughs> Gucci SSIM. Then the number is 3605L. So, anyone know anything about Gucci? Let us know because I'm gonna be honest, it looks cheaply made. That's the only reason I'm assuming it's fake. But then again, stuff yeah. like Yeezys, they're expensive and they look like they're Dollar Tree shoes to me. So, you never know. Okay, you never know. I don't think they look cheaply made. I just don't look cheap. I do. I think they look like cloth. They look like a cheaper version of Chuck Taylor's All Star. Like, they, look, they look like crap. Okay, to each their own. <laughs> <laughs> They're so ugly. They're nothing on Jordans. So we got oh, this no. little watch here, which is just a quartz. It doesn't have any markings of being real gold or anything like that, but just a nice little piece of custom jewelry there. Did the ring have any markings? I didn't see anything. No. No markings, so fake diamond or fake ring. Also forgot to mention, we went through a lot of the books. All the books that were in there are pretty much trash and the ones that did have like a little bit, there's a couple books that could have been worth like 20 bucks, but they were literally ripped to shreds, missing pages, all written in. So pretty much they are, hopefully will be able to donate them. If not, they're trash because whoever owned them did not take care of them at all. And look at this little watch here. This is a Vivari quartz watch. Don't know if that's a good brand or not, but it's there. That one looks nice. Yeah, it does look nice. This that's one. like the only whole watch we have really. It's not well, broken. Are they all broken? Mostly. Actually, Why? no. One's broken. <laughs> one. <laughs> they're all broken. One's broken, so they're all broken. This one, if this was real, this would be really, really expensive. But it says only stainless steel 377, but it looks like it's got probably fake stones all in it if I had to take a guess. But if it's real gold and gems and diamonds, that'd be nice. But I don't see any markings besides the stainless steel, which is pretty much all watches on the back. And some random little pieces here, random whatever. All fake costume jewelry, but I did find this little thing I thought was cool. United States Navy Memorial from Washington, D.C. So maybe he was in the Navy. We, since we found the 1941 pennies, you know, maybe some Pearl Harbor stuff. I don't know. Navy, they got bombed, something like that. I'm just, I don't know. I'm trying to put together a story. Usually I can put <laughs> together a story, but this unit just doesn't have a 
I don't know. It's, it's non-linear. Usually like, okay, this led to this led to this led to this led to this. This one's just like, I don't know. What else do we have? This thing, it's just, I thought it said cancel on it in the store. You think I was reading it upside down. Actually, it says angel. But this right here, it looks super fake, but on the inside is a price tag. This, whoever bought it paid $70 for this bracelet. So maybe it's old, maybe it's vintage, or maybe there's some type of precious metal on it. I don't know, but I can't see a fake thing like this being worth $70 unless it's, there's gotta be a reason. What else have we got? Couple phones. Two phones. This one, no battery, so not coming on. This one cuts on, password lock, can't get into it that easily for one, so we could reset it and everything, but not right now. That's pretty much the jewelry, but the coolest thing in the unit, definitely this paint. Yeah. Ooh, you got it. Uh, you want to get it all in there? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Aha. All right, so what's this guy's name again? Diego Rivera. Diego Rivera, and the painting's called Peasant, right? Peasant. So we looked up his paintings that have sold. They've sold upward of three thousand dollars. I feel like I made one of those like QVC things, and it could be yours for only price of five thousand dollars. No, but <laughs> some of his paintings have gone for as much as three thousand dollars. We don't really know if this is a reprint, but there's nothing on it that looks like a reprint. I looked at reprint selling on eBay. They have like the title, the piece down here. They had markings right here, and everything that I've seen that have sold as a fake, it tells you it's a fake. This one, the only marking on it is his signature down here in the bottom corner which real artwork has on it so this is an authentic painting by whatever his name i keep forgetting his diego name diego rivera i keep wanting to say mariana rivera freaking yankee fan in me but that rivera then it could be worth a couple grand and that would be crazy out of a 15 dollars unit but i just i can't see somebody getting a fake painting professionally framed this is a certification where a professional framer did the work who would go buy a $9.95 print off eBay and pay probably $200 to have it professionally framed? Doesn't make sense, right? Nobody would do that. So that's another piece of artwork that we have that's worth like thousands of dollars. That'd be awesome. That's pretty awesome. Especially that it came out of a $15 unit that looked like crap. Mm -hmm. That's how we do things around here. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. We only got one unit today. It kind of sucked. The auction sucked today. Yeah, Literally, like did. four places got canceled and every one of the most units any facility has two. Yeah. And it was just trash. Yeah, most, yeah, most of the units weren't too good. It, it, it just wasn't much going on today. But hopefully tomorrow is different. And we're bidding on units online. And we're going to the auction tomorrow. So you know what? we got to end up with more. We've been like lazy to December. We've been gone a lot. We've been doing a lot of things. We need to get back into the swing Everybody of things. Everybody needs a break. We do. But we, you know what? I'm back and I want to get back into it like badly. Like I feel tomorrow I might buy stupidly. i got to try to control myself. Because I just want to dig through stuff. Nothing that is stupid. Anyway. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Alright, guys, that's gonna be it for this short little video. Hopefully, we'll get more units tomorrow. Anyway, leave it a like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.